Oh my god, hello everybody, welcome to Acolyte Season 17. Oh my goodness gracious, let's get right into the episode. Three, two, one, go! No. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, I was, okay. I wasn't oh, ready. Okay. Episode four was a was nothing, and now and now we're in the episode where all I know about this is loads of stuff happens. As far as I'm aware, this is going to be like a shotgun of things happen, which I find amusing in terms of how they've stretched out the pacing of this whole season. This was built as like the big fight one, right? Yeah. Which we've heard we've heard countless things for the past several months from the people behind the acolyte that they've created some lightsaber duels that are going to like serve past phantom menace and prequel era lightsaber duels which i mean i guess we're about to see if that's true or not mm. i have my doubts but uh consider how low the bar has been for disney star wars lightsaber fights maybe they actually do think they have something good not that we'll actually check this once the episode's over necessarily but it'll be fun who's dying in this episode my guess is that all of the no-name jedi that they introduced last episode are done uh but i actually think that no named characters are gonna die i will be 100 percent with you i think all no names not even an exception there won't be some random dude called one Who's, who's surviving, that's not going to happen. They're all dead. As for named characters, I think Soul is probably the one that, that gets his boss fight and dies for something to happen for May and, and, and Osha. Oh, May and Osha will be fine. Nothing's going to happen to them. If anything happens to them, it'll be in the finale. Yord? Ooh. I'd flip a coin on that one. Uh, I'm not sure. They haven't done anything with him yet, though. <laughs> like, that's because they're shit, not because, you know, like, they think yeah, they have. Yeah, anything with this show. So, I'll say Jackie's safe, Yord not. All the no-names are dead. Soul might die in order to save May, who he has. He was talking to the chick lady. And he's like, no, there's good in her, and I can, we can save her. Yord is definitely, a, I think he is a solid maybe. I would not be shocked at all if Yord dies. Uh, I think Basil will be okay. Um, right. I don't think he's going to be about killed. <laughs> but if Milo Ren, if he just jumped Basil right in the half out of nowhere, <laughs> we'd be like, holy shit! And he falls down in half. He's like Buzz Lightyear. At the beginning of Toy Story 2. And then it cuts to Rex. <laughs> this game was terrible anyway. I'm glad it happened. Um, I'm going to go play Elden Ring DLC. And Jackie's the only one you haven't accounted for yet. Which one's that? The girl. Padawan. The young. Yeah, the girl Padawan. It's the first time I'm learning her name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's going to live. All the red shirts are, are going to die for sure. The one person I think is safe is actually Sol. Uh, because I feel like there's too much more about the story that we don't know. And now he's the only one living who was involved in it. That I don't feel like they're going to wrap up this episode. But May and Asha, they're safe. Jackie and Yord. Um, who? <laughs> I, I'm going to say that Jackie dies. She's going to have like a girl boss sick moment and then she's going to die. And Yord yeah. will put him in a maybe. As usual, all the no names are dead. Like, that's just a foregone conclusion. I don't think Soul is going to die. We will lose zero to one people who are not Soul. So that could be Yord or Jackie. I think it's basically flip a coin. One of them gets shot. If, if you kill a bunch of no names, I think the audience can be like, yeah. Eh. Okay. They want to try and establish the stakes and the tension and what's the most transparent and easy way to do that. Because these writers funny. will take the, the quickest is, route though, to accomplish something. The thing is, you guys have to bear in mind, in Ahsoka, Sabine got stabbed uh. like, through the guard <laughs> with a lightsaber and lived. You know, Friggy? This is the reason why I just don't think that That's a good point. Somehow, characters. I'm imagining that we're about to learn that that was not intentional in terms of telling us the lightsabers don't actually hurt you that much, and that this episode, lightsabers are going to do a lot of hurty. They, they are actually going to mm -hmm. work, probably. When this series began, I think all of us assumed that pretty much any Jedi that came into contact with person with a red lightsaber, they have to die at some point before they're able to alert everybody, unless we are just saying it's going to be a massive Jedi cover-up. Even if all these people don't die in this episode, I just don't think there's any way they can survive throughout the end of the series. Well, so I would, I, I would go I, further and say the series is broken unless everyone dies here. Well, so this is well, the thing. I don't think that they believe that there would be a problem with the story that they've written if many of these characters made it to the end. Say, for example, Soul survives this and they get back to their ship and they talk about whatever, that's, the series is done because he should be able to contact them and describe what he's dealt it, with and then it's over. It, well, yes, if anyone's able to send right. a message to somebody, then it... it like it leaves a big gaping. Well, remember they have comms stuff to be able to contact people 
on the on foot, on the right? Ship. Yeah, yeah. I do have a bit of a thing in my head of of them being. They have some awareness of how they're fucking up everything because of like I I've bought the argument that they have Kiati Mundi in episode four because of what he said yes. in Phantom Menace. I That's why he's there. Do they fuck him around with him? <laughs> he ain't done I also yet. Do, I, I do think that with what we've seen from the Jedi, that they're clearly trying to hide things already, especially with Master Vernestra. The the green bald weirdo. Oh yeah, um, we got to see a laser whip. There could be a situation where this is something they did in the Darth Bane books back in the old expanded universe. Essentially, that they do. Darth Bane and his apprentice, the Jedi get notified that there's something going on. They think there might be dark side forces. They send a strike force. Massive battle. A lot of the fucking Jedi die. Darth Bane gets really injured. Essentially, Xana has to use. Um, uh, Sith sorcery, just a, a form of force. She essentially makes this guy go insane, mind controls him, gives him a lightsaber, they hide. Jedi get there and the Jedi think that this is the person that was behind all of it. They hack this piece of shit to pieces and they think that the threat's been ended and the Sith secret is kind of still safe. So there's still possible ways that I feel like they could try to get around it, maybe have the Jedi think the threat is gone. Maybe they think that one of these people is the master, that one of these people is the apprentice and they wipe them out and they just cover it up so they don't tell the rest of the Jedi Council. I see like a way that they could try to tell that story. Why do people treat the Jedi Council as though they shouldn't know stuff? I don't fucking know, because then they'd be forced to notify the Senate or something. Who cares? I think like, that I was the reason they gave, which is insane. We don't want them to know we failed and the Sith rose temporarily. Like, you could just run that any way you want if you're going to worry about it that way. You could just say, yeah, we crushed them instantly. I think it would be a way for them to actually get, like get more power. Yeah. And it, it, that's what they're after, right? It's like, hey, look at what look at what can happen when we're not vigilant, when you don't give us enough resources, when the Jedi are you know not able to go out and do these things. This is why we're so important. So we stop this from ever happening and we're able to handle it when it does. Yeah, right? but have you considered that the show is incompetently written? Wait a minute. Every day of my life. Are you sure? <laughs> no sense in delaying any further. We're so excited. We've got our predictions. Let us begin this wonderful adventure. Is everyone ready? Extract Kalnaka from his post on Kofar and intercept me. These episodes are so short. <laughs> they God. really are. It's, it's wonderful. It's the, my favorite it part of the thing. show. You know what's crazy is you know? um, if this dropped all at once, you'd get it done in an afternoon, like watching a longish movie, and be like, Jesus Christ, that was a TV show. That was That's a crazy. terrible movie, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that too. I guess I just don't understand why the, the floor isn't like 40 minutes. I don't want to know what lives out here. This made it into the because previously. So the that was in the previously means that right. don't matter. I told you guys, I thought that those motherfuckers are going to do something to break up the fight, right? When all Maybe. the lightsabers are clashing. They definitely want to make sure you remember the bug. That's all I read. Here we go. <laughs> By the way, more powerful than all of them put together, huh? In the intro now. I like how none of them use the force. Oh, no. Because we don't do that. It's not the intro. So inconsistent with the force powers. Everyone's just randomly using them here and there on different people. Ooh, ominous music. Da, 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 da. That's just Lucasfilm. <laughs> Oh, Osha's actually been knocked out for the whole fight. We won't see anything. Oh, is my prediction going to come true that that's what they do? <laughs> I, they, she wakes up and half the fight's like already done and only well, a few Jedi are left. Remember, they oh. couldn't afford to do a Keldaka fight, so... Pip? God, the robot. Let's make sure he's okay. I hope the human being is a stupid robot. I fell out of the couch. I'm okay. Don't worry. I got fallen and I force. can't get up. I'm not capable of locomotion. I have no... Highly dependent on being protected by her. Jeez. Why did you not purchase the leg upgrade for me? <laughs> for a little... <laughs> Why are you such a fucking fuck? Why are didn't, you didn't so May bad? Do, didn't May do that exact same thing in the first episode? <laughs> I told you! Wait, how did she oh see him? Oh my he was God, in man. her field of view. What like, the fuck? Look, he's right <laughs> he there. was right there! Yeah, how did you fall? Like, <laughs> think that's you what... Just look no, at the no, fucking no. ground. This Ooh, looks like his finger is spreading out. A fight's out. happening. Who is how it? is this? How have things proceeded in this way? Oh though? no, it's the red shits. They're all dead. Any minute now. Recognize any of these people? Oh, is that Yord? That's yours. Here's Yord. That's Yord. Yord he's Horde. Okay. Oh, 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 wait. And wait, what? One. Stab got he... him. It didn't look very good, he by died. the way, that stab. No, it didn't look good. What? Did he block I'm the sorry, lightsaber what? with his head? It looked like he just. Dis they got destroyed. Yeah, they destroyed, destroyed it out. Safe. I know well, it now we can is. use the force Hold to stun on. him so that Yord can. How do you do that? Oh. Slice across the belly. He's gone. Oh. 
Oh, fuck off. <laughs> oh, shit. I thought that was awesome. So you could just pull I? them? This is what I mean. Pull them. I Dude. What's the correct. point of any of it if you can't use the, like, counter his force power? Man, he's so cool. Why did that oh, happen? He just no sells it. But that affects his body, right? He's we, he's a is Dragon it, Ball Z now. Is like it the clothing that prevented that. Run! It could have been a so, force technique. Do you want to kill that Jedi there? Yeah. A force yeah. technique to get shot and have it be rendered. Yeah, he didn't know but, it was going to happen. What's the point? This is so oh, stupid. He has right. been out there that whole time not helping them. Wait, yeah. so I guess just not. to be clear. I, do the stuns yeah. not work on force users? So there's a rare force technique. You saw kind of Vader use it to deflect Han's blast in Empire that you can uh, redirect or kind of absorb he, energy. Yoda sure he does did the that same deliberately thing. though. Yeah, like he, yeah. Vader, Vader he knew it was coming. He was taken off guard by it. He was surprised by it. Yeah. Yeah. This guy was surprised by it. <laughs> he just decided to walk off after Osha and let Yord live. What the fuck it, are okay. you doing? So he's willing to kill doing? her then, right? Oh, how fucking Soul? convenient. Where the fuck have you been? Yeah, where has he what been? Are you doing? So he was absolutely willing to kill her, but he wasn't willing to grab her with the force when he saw her after she shot him. Okay, makes sense. Why are they falling that direction? Why that, would they fall that direction? You'd think they... They, they shouldn't. They fell that way so you could see the cut marks. Civilian to the ship! Civilian to the ship! He's killing everybody. You might want all the help you can get. Dude, don't do the fucking creepy head tilt. Come Dramatic on Dramatic choral music! Oh yeah, choir. Just what we need. <laughs> Very dramatic, Theo. So, what are you talking about? I'm almost the shit that shorts out lightsabers is called cortosis. It's been introduced in the cortosis. books for years. They probably it, should have introduced it in the show in a way that makes any fucking sense to the people watching it, because that shit was yeah. confusing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things will just randomly basil. happen. Soul gave me an order. Osha. I don't want to have to subdue you, but I will. Okay. Why is your lightsaber Why still is your lightsaber on? on? Careful, buddy. Yeah. You nearly hit yourself you out there. Touched someone with but that. Yeah. Again, we just sort of ran into Basil. Why not? Master Soul. Who are you? Oh no. Boogie voice. You don't remember me. Oh for fuck's sake! They do this with uh -oh. everybody ever <laughs> in Star Wars. <laughs> Why can't it ever be? You know what? It's always a mystery. I sense something familiar. Oh, okay. That's something familiar, eh? <laughs> Old apprentice or some bullshit. I feel like you had a mm. clean shot on his back. There. <laughs> that's, that's such a he's goofy got spooky helmet. breathing. I love it. He's got he's got a weird goofy smile helmet, and he's doing he the breathing. A Jedi weapon. You carry a Jedi weapon. But you are no Jedi. Oh, yeah, that's, okay. Thanks. Yeah, I'm glad you away. Finally, we cut away. Out. And we cut away. <laughs> it yeah, doesn't. We have to deal with uh, May doing stuff. The, uh, the, the cutaways important. are so much more distracting. <laughs> What the fuck her? are you doing? Why doesn't Did she have her lightsaber? Her? Why do you have your lightsaber? Her? You just drop kicked her. Are you, are you serious? <laughs> In she does theory, have a lightsaber. Like, in theory, there should be a couple lightsabers laying around with all these. But she's dead got one. Well, she can has see it on her hers, waist. right? Yeah, Where's you can hers? see it. She definitely has a lightsaber. I saw it on her waist. Also, what have you been doing this whole time? For the murder of Master and Dara, the murder. Of yeah, where has she? Uh, whatever. You want to like Probably make sure that you have. That yeah. Tough. Yeah. Why can't she just use the force to undo the manacles? The fire that killed your family. <laughs> Oh, you upset her now. <laughs> I didn't I'm kill my people in a fire. Her. Also, so much for me. I just tried to kill oh, my wow. sister. I'm already annoyed that she's lasted so much longer than Indaro when Indaro was a master. <laughs> That's a bit weird. <laughs> Go on, get him. Like Man, Why what are you fight? doing that? Wait, why do you turn it off? Because it's... They keep giving him creepy breathing. It's so silly. <laughs> That's because been trying so hard with this guy. Because in 1977, they gave Darth Vader <laughs> creepy breathing. Show your face and let you read my thoughts. Wait, the That's mask prevents? Is he Magneto? Does How does that, that work? You can't does read a thought without. Does that mean the mask prevents it? Yeah, yeah that's what he just says. Someone in the face. You can't read a mind unless you have a face. It's like uh, Mando season two. What master hides his face from his pupil? You tell me. We got away. <laughs> <laughs> 
stop hitting people in the thigh. It's why are neither not, of them using the force? Why is this fight even happening? I don't know. May was like, I'm going to turn myself into the Jedi because I can tell them important stuff. And then the Jedi comes to arrest her and she's like, no, I'm going to try and kill you. I'm going to try and stab you and murder you. Does she think she needs to be on uh, Smilo Ren's side or something after all of this? <laughs> The spacing on those attacks was really awkward, by the way. Like, just out of reach for a lot of them, because it's all... It's better than usual, but it's still not yeah. that great. Far, it's not, yeah, not living up to the promise. He doesn't follow the rules of combat, and there's no method to his movements. It's and we just cut away to these yeah. boring conversations. Again. <laughs> Why is again your lightsaber on? Turn the fucker off. Like, it makes me nervous. Yeah, especially with yours. Like he's, he's just gonna turn in one direction and chop <laughs> her head off on accident. That's the, You know what it is? Part of the problem is that it convinces you they're holding them and they're not threatening weapons at all. He gets into your head and he stays there. My mother could do that. Why would you say my mother? What she's describing is not what's happening here, where they actually just get like outright mentally stunned. It's just that yeah. he's beating them. He's just killing them all. Yeah. With lightsaber attacks, by the way, which are notoriously non-lethal at this point. <laughs> wow, so she's just gonna do it, huh? Apparently. I, I mean, mean she's killed other people. Oh, so oh, she okay. is gonna murder the Jedi. Well, I thought she was gonna turn herself in. <laughs> And then she's and like, here, I'm arresting you. Oh, We're she's... gonna take you in. It's just like, no, nah, I don't like that. <laughs> don't appreciate that. So the Padawan got her, huh? Okay. Padawan Spooky is man good. In three, man, two, that one. is a fucking chunky lightsaber. How, so May is good enough to kill Indara, yeah, but she's go. not, not good enough to stop the Padawan. See, she had her here. own. A lightsaber the whole time yep, on her she had her own knife. lightsaber, it's all she... <laughs> Oh, you, you got no shot. Yeah, she's yeah, just a why Padawan, isn't it, right? This should she's be over already. Shot, she's yes. also wounded, by the way. Yes, that's right. She got cut, so no chance. May, you can learn from this Padawan. That's a Goomba. <laughs> he is a Goomba. Why were you swinging all the way up there? She's got on his Wait, arm, too. Do? How, how do you do that? <laughs> Like Double damage. Other times. This didn't work out for Anakin, okay? I still don't get how he's having so much trouble with the Padawan. That's yeah, like he should be. He should easily he kill her. He wiped the floor with a bunch of knights, like. This is what I mean. Three at once. There's no fucking way she should be able to do this good. Like, like him and Saul should be a good fight, right? But not her. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> And I can believe her, like, blocking a few and running what? away, but anything past that... She's better than when it was, like, four on one. There exactly. were four Jedi Knights on one. Well, and this is the thing. We, she's getting uh, a lot Heroic of really good death. stuff, and it's just not fair. Like, the other characters don't get to have it because they're not as important, even though Teleport's their ranks are higher. Behind you. That's going to be important, oh. question mark. Why did Smiler Ren leave <laughs> instead of finishing her? I don't he know. I don't know. He's done that to Jason. He wanted to he go left... after May, I guess. So he left Soul and stopped fighting Soul. Oh, shit. He stopped fighting her. Oh, here's the bug. The light attracts them. Attracts what? Oh, yeah. This has been so blatant, happens. dude. The the yeah. bug, you know, seed that the previous one with the bugs. Way. And now it's like, remember the bugs? It's like, yes, we remember the bugs. <laughs> we go slowly. The only thing to get him to turn his lightsaber off. <laughs> why, why is going slowly the play? Why don't, why don't you go around? Go back and around. Coward! You are going to betray me. <laughs> we <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> what is that? What the fuck is that? Oh shit, he Did went he, to kill her? Damn. He swung and missed. Master, I was weak. You can, why, just pull your hands out of that. <laughs> Oh, old. fuck off! We must have done that on purpose, right? I no, yeah, but he, he did try so, to kill yeah. her before, though. Wait, he's killing her again! Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the, what was the what? point of that? But why? Oh, the point with that was so that she could have her arms free, so that she oh my could... God. Like, yeah. What? No, stab him! Don't kick yeah, him! Everyone keeps kicking. Jesus Christ, May oh, does not know what the fuck she's doing. Yo, she wanted to turn herself into the Jedi, then she started fighting the Jedi, what? now she's running away from him. <laughs> He's uh, trying to just, kill her oh, over and over again! He's such a clusterfuck of a sequence, <laughs> holy oh. fuck. He keep, He's like, let me kill her for fuck's sake. Does anyone actually care about these guys? Like, let's, let's go back. Nope. I don't care about anyone. He's like, please, I don't have to die like the rest of them. Don't make me go back. He's going to kill them. He's going to kill them all. Yeah, we already know that. He killed most of them already. I thought that this got overridden by his order from Soul. Are you going to, like, ride in with an army oh of bugs? Oh my god. Is that going to be the play? Okay. Run! Oh, 
Why? Oh, he's just agreeing why? now. Why? He's just agreeing. Why? Now. Remember, why? Remember, see me for what reason? remember he threatened creatures. to knock her out to get her onto the ship. Yeah, yep. but not anymore. It's different. Things have changed, Smaller. So he headbutts the lightsabers and they turn off? Why can't you use the force? Yeah, it's so increasingly when, fucking annoying. I feel like if you're her, you'd be fucking terrified. <laughs> Would stab him! Oh. Where is Saul? Oh, Sol? shit. <laughs> no! Uh -huh. uh, what, what was Saul doing right. the whole time? What the hell? Well, she's out. Okay. That's actually the one thing I like about the whole episode. It's not because I hate the character, it's just having the balls to kill it. actually her. died. And yeah. it's just yeah, potion yeah, seller. Well. It's just it's potion chimera. seller. Guys, uh, I, I don't think any of us give a shit that it's him. <laughs> it's, I don't care. That's what we all thought it was, you know? Yeah, I don't, I don't care. Um, I just don't give a shit. Sorry, but that, that was a good, what, like seven seconds of Soul doing nothing, by the way? Yep. Yeah. You could have pulled her away. You could have done anything. <laughs> was that its name? Is that its name? It's supposed to That's be a dehumanizing so thing. Oh, definitely dehumanized. He's a, he's a bum. He's, was a, that he's its a nasty. Name? She was a child. He was a child? Maybe we should have brought her out here then. You brought her here. Ah! <laughs> oh, hey! That's kind of, yeah, that's kind of actually like that. uh, that's a line. Well, we it's, it's weird to five appeal. Episodes, we got a line that might be something. <laughs> Can you resist the force with your force ever, please? <laughs> he actually got stunned by the cloak. <laughs> the, the, the fact that he. I thought he was going to use the cloak and kill him. So, uh, what is the leverage here, you know? It's kind of confusing. Yeah, you have a hostage. But it's his apprentice, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, uh, okay. <laughs> oh man, look at him acting his little heart out. You attack me <laughs> while my back is turned? You attack me while my back is turned? That was a... a I don't know a, if you need to do that, alright? Yeah, I... <laughs> what are you? With a Jedi like you might call me... Sith. Um, okay, so, um, okay, uh, that's a problem. So nobody... All right, okay. sorry, John. Um, <laughs> so now he needs to eat. Soul's gotta die. What do you want? Freedom. You could leave. Then just, you could leave, right? At any time, you can just go. Freedom to wield my power the way I like, without having to answer to Jedi like you. You've been killing a lot of them, though. I want a pupil, an acolyte. Murder, oh buddy? God. Oh. <laughs> oh. So now I have to kill every single last one of you. I don't make the rules. Every single last don't one make the rules? That's an actual line? Huh? Your <laughs> So it okay. really is if the helmet touches your lightsaber, right, it turns come on, off. Come on, Soul, get yeah. him. What's Soul doing? Ah! Wow. Wow. Fuck. Wow. That was, wow. That was pretty cool. Wow. Soul's stock just fucking plummeted, dude. Really wow. Soul? Yeah. He's still... He what? He's watched he's two people now that. get killed. Yeah, that's the really... Gonna that's, be on him next. that's like the one thing I've liked from Yord, and Soul did nothing to help him. Yo, character he got development, you, question mark. <laughs> He's not, well, he, he, he barely even cares. He's just standing there. You that's got your that's so lame. Why did you not take your lightsaber off the ground? Okay. You should have used the force to pull the lightsaber to your yeah. hand and use okay. that. It's because it, so he just like talked about him like being unarmed or whatever. He's I think killing that's his friend. <laughs> that means you do something. You have the force for Christ's sake. Man, if so only there was some telekinetic power I had to prevent you from killing people I like. No, kill, him. Him. kill him! No, kill him! Not allowed. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> yeah, here we go again. Yep. So you're giving he into is your so rage. He's so fucking evil. You also you're like uh, he swung his lightsaber such that it would have killed him had he just let it go into him, but he swung it past to swing it back down. Yep. Yeah. His mind is twisted by darkness. Jesus Christ, Osha, he's so fucking evil. <laughs> he's even said he's okay being evil. But Osha, Anakin, Chancellor he... Palpatine is evil. <laughs> he's really fucking evil and dangerous. What? From Why? my point of view, the Jedi Why? are evil. Do you have any- I can't He has control mind. of the he Senate can't. and the courts. Uh, he's too dangerous he... to be left alive. So these motherfuckers are finally catching up with them? Oh yeah, that's ages. Wait, what's the Maybe plan Maybe the bugs here? were not organized well. Wait, so you're not allowed to kill him, but you're totally allowed to set a bunch of bugs on you him? You don't? The Jedi do not attack the unarmed. But he's never unarmed. He killed Jord with his hands. His body is a weapon. I saw uh, Jord. Sorry, I called him Jord. Yes. Jord. He is the weapon. Oh look, he's got his he's weapon back. do that. All right. All right, yeah, cool. Hey look, he's armed. <sighs> I love you, Ben. 
sorry, what? Oh, oh, oh my wife. Did he not realize something was happening there when she announced that? Use the force. Oh, this is so fucking stupid. <laughs> Wait, so this is okay. Oh we can feed him to the moths, but we can't kill him. How does this work? How is this okay? <laughs> what? So are they gonna carry him off? One Feed him of to us. the bugs. One of us. <laughs> Become the king of the moths. Be the lamp god. The lamp There's god. No lamp he just jumped to moths. No way. No way. It'll be. It'll be the Soul, uh, away, Soul right? was gonna. Soul was gonna kill him, and you stopped him. The story would have been over. We could have oh. gone home and gone to all those funerals. But like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> So it oh. does work on force users. Mm. Fuck off. This is we cut away. This is horrific. Stupid. I can't believe this all happened like it did. You couldn't have fumbled this one. May's goal. Like nobody knows. What the you fuck are... is she doing? Nobody knows. May is a DD character that has like changed players between sessions. <laughs> every episode. Yeah, yeah, every five minutes. Everything you have ever done has been for yourself. True. Yeah, pretty much. The Jedi got what they deserved. Those Jedi were more my family than you ever were. Have you forgotten who we are? You tried to murder me. You tried to kill me. I don't understand, yeah. You locked me in a burning room and it was yeah. burning because you burned it. I don't... I... They invaded our home. Invaded. You tried to murder me. Oh, we getting a reveal? They've brainwashed you. She doesn't know the truth. Yeah. They've turned you against me. They turned, they turned you against, against me! me. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you tell me what they brainwashed me about or something, instead of speaking in these- No, riddles until episode y eight. Hooray, a ambiguous riddling. I would never get that close to her. Fuck no, she's evil, she's a murderer. A you, you're a killer, you're a killer. Any reaction to show to this? This is very emotional. What is happening? Yeah, we're all feeling so much right now. Even the actress <laughs> is feeling so much. Yeah, look. <laughs> <laughs> she wants, she's waiting for the scene to be over. Like. <laughs> all we have is each other now. Did someone say cut? cut? <laughs> you're what? What's happening? Okay. She's got the force, idiot. And also the thing you said you She's would do last force. episode that we just forgot about. She's got the force. What's happening? You followed a false master. So did you. What is it? What do you mean? Tell what? me what you're talking about. How are you going to subdue her? I don't know you. you the the okay. She's right. like trained her whole life as an assassin with the force. Why did you think you could just beat her by grabbing her? And if you were going to do something like that, why don't you just play along for a while until you get back to a ship or something? Exactly. Or you have the access to the stun gun. <laughs> Oh, look at that. She beat her with the force. That's crazy. It's great that it's always this button that they just like seem to randomly press that will do something to a fight that they- Oh, okay. Oh, what? All right. <laughs> She's just knocked out. Uh, of course. Yeah, of course. You just, just press the <laughs> I win the fight button and you won the fight. Shocking. Done and done. You can block, right? You can block force pushes. Like if you get caught off guard, you can get pulled or pushed or whatever. But it doesn't seem like they do a very good job of ever showing people block. Well, never what is mind. Blocking. That, that is what her mom was trying to teach in episode three, remember? That when they were bad. trying to block the, the force pushes. Oh, sure. Why don't they have someone throw There's the way real lightsaber it. from off screen onto her hand and she catches it? Fuck oh, you. Oh, please, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. No. They'll no. notice that. Bitch, you have a tattoo. Oh, you're kidding. You can't pretend you... to be here. You have a tattoo. Yeah, see, he survived. What a what shock, that's that? crazy. I thought for sure the moths had him. <laughs> nah, it's too uh, soon. I don't think he's gonna die until the end of the season. They fed him to moths. moths. They fed him to moths. What the fuck are you doing here, you idiot? The goober is here. Oh, well, there he goes. He's gonna save the but... He saved Pip. Oh, and I guess Soul maybe as well. Yeah, Soul made it. Soul, are you all right? Where is she? Wouldn't he sense her energy is completely yeah, different? Yeah, I was about to say, you oh, have the force energy. They're, they're twins, right? So they have the same... No, the, okay. no. <laughs> like, What's with all those... personalities are so different. What's with all those burnt ends on your hair? Why do you <laughs> yeah, smell like burnt not... hair? <laughs> how come, how are you come talking I sense... differently? Yeah, how come you, I sense the evil just... in you? Why wouldn't she just kill him right there? How come, like, every look you direct in my direction well, has, like complete malicious intent. I, I can explain know. why she wouldn't kill him because we don't know what her motivation is right now. We why never did you not do. take the helmet? We can never judge her actions because we never know what the fuck she's doing. I'm it's glad we spent time on watching these people play their bad chess game thing. Yay.
yeah, it's over. Uh, Sol can contact the Jedi, tell him about how he encountered a Sith explicitly. Well, a person who implied the Jedi would think he was a Sith, I guess. Yeah, that's good I, enough. I'm not 100 percent sold that he's actually a Sith, to be honest. But it doesn't it doesn't need to be because Darth Maul was not explicitly a at Sith when point, he met Qui Gon. Oh, who cares? Basil, Basil knows something's up. <laughs> at the, at, so Sol left the helmet. He left all the lightsabers. All of the all bodies. The dead bodies. Well. Yeah. All the bodies. Uh, yeah, Damn. Yeah. All the bodies. Well, that Yord, sucks. Yord's yeah. got his head on backwards. He just fucking left him there. <laughs> he didn't care about Yord. You could tell. Well, it was he cared enough for to be stunned for 30 seconds to let everybody else do things. What extraordinary beings. We are. Look how clever they're being. We've we've swapped the twins around. I think that tattoo is going to be like the reveal of who it is. Probably. That tattoo that they spent time on. Even though it should be the one on the forehead that should be visible. Like, at least that's covered by your bangs or whatever. Not really. I think she's going to fucking through them. You know? Yeah, it's not, it's not really covered. You see the depth of our despair. I wish this guy wouldn't do the sort of whispering intense voice <laughs> where he talks <laughs> like yeah, this, uh, as if crazy. everything is really dramatic. By the way, same fucking guy who told us you can't kill the Jedi with a uh, laser. You can't, yeah, you can't use a weapon. He killed fucking all of them with... <laughs> it's just like, yeah, okay. Soul could have just ended it right then and there, but then he didn't. Yeah, because it's the get out of jail free card. You wouldn't do that. You're a Jedi. You I, go by the code. I mean, he was still dangerous. He could still use Hyper the Hyper dangerous. Force. Once again, it's like, good job, Osha. You stopped Soul from ending Ending the threat entirely. Consequence, she has now placed herself in Con serious peril. Consequence, yeah. if, like, Yord got fucked up because she cares about Yord personally. It's like, how does she reconcile any of this? Yord had a duty to go back. One, one to keep this... Uh keep the civilian safe, but also to go back and inform the rest of the Jedi what the fuck's going on. That should have been at the forefront of his mind, as tough as that is, but that's the reason the Jedi are not supposed to form attachments to the level of not doing your duty. Sol's making this sacrifice of I'm gonna delay him, you guys get out of here, get the civilian safe, get that information out, whatever, and he, like, is following it to a T until he decides later I'm not gonna follow it, actually. Consequently yeah. means that the fight Sol had with Smilo Ren could have had uh, Yord the whole time, but just didn't for no reason. And then later on, Yord comes in and just gets killed. Yeah, I don't know. Just the whole episode is filled with arbitrary ways of moving characters into and out of the fights. The pacing was particularly It makes no fucking sense, by the way. All you know, of them should have attacked Smiler Ren to begin with. They all got pushed over. Well, the, yeah, but then you had an instance where you had four of them doing it. It's like, where was Soul? Where yeah. was he? Yeah, Soul was beginning? absent randomly in the beginning. And Jackie. And, uh, Je Jackie was too, and I, I would imagine your, the implication would be, oh, Jackie got knocked out or some shit in that first wave. But Soul seemed to, like, come out of nowhere where not that long yeah, like really far out. away so in some other direction <laughs> like obviously the helmet and the uh, gauntlet or whatever that he's wearing short end of the lightsabers everyone's going to watch this and have no fucking idea what that is unless you're one of like the one percent of people that know i feel like they really should have done something to explain that away it's cortosis it's something that has been around in stars for a long time they brought it into disney star wars it's a super rare material it's not impermeable like beskar is but it does short out lightsabers temporarily now if it takes enough hits it will it, it it will give out and it will break. So it's not like you're just invulnerable forever from it. They should have made their fader suit out of that instead so of voodoo. I was, I was literally going to say, what do you think the first fucking question that comes up when you introduce something like this? That's stupid. You yeah. can't introduce a material like that. That's re that's profoundly retarded. How come every Jedi isn't wearing this as armor? I don't know what, how they're going to Shorts out lightsabers. It's, it's a super fucking rare material that's notoriously difficult to weave into any type of armor because it's very brittle. We would need to go to all the richest and most powerful characters in the universe. Why don't they have it? My argument for why no one would walk around with it in this era is they haven't fought another person with a lightsaber in centuries. But it doesn't really explain away no one else ever having it. Well, and why has I mean, it never been fucking talked about or introduced in any way that's significant? And what a, what a bungled... You'd think it would have been their style is to have some awkward conversation in episode two where someone goes, oh man, what's this bit of metal you've got here? And he's like, oh, that's cortosis. I'm going to sell it on the black market. It's worth a bazillion. It can short out a lightsaber. They need to do some setup to explain that before this fight. Yes, uh, which I this would is have given away who Smilo Ren is. This is yeah. confusing as fuck to the average audience. They had no idea this was possible. I, I think a lot of people will just be like, we well, that no was idea. cool. But I still think many people will be like, wait, what? why wasn't this in any do? of the other movies? I guess the best way to explain it, put it like this. Remember in uh, Game of Thrones where there's like three people in the fucking world that know how to work uh, Valerian steel back into things? That's kind of the way I would describe it, that it's that type of material that is super rare. It's not plentiful. There's problem in terms of the nature of scarcity between like uh, high medieval fantasy 
society and a galaxy, right? A galaxy just has so many more people and so many more places for the possibility my... of a craft to be developed yeah, with, for the money to pay for it. Technology. I'm not it's trying to say like same. I won't buy it, but man, it's going to be hard for me to buy it, you know? I think what annoys me about the armor is that it basically is just a timeout that will be convenient for whatever the writer wants to happen in the action scene. The timeout is inconsistent. All right, well, those guys are timed out for a little bit, so they'll just stand there messing around with their lightsabers while Yord can get injured. All right, time in, and then they're dead. And then it's like, oh, time out. Can't use your lightsaber now. That enables this point to happen. Oh, time in. Now, now you're back into the fight. It's it's It bugs me because it's so transparent, like the purpose that it's serving. The ability to force, pull, and push people kind of at whim without any consequences is really lame when people should be using that shit all the time. I think they really need to incorporate more force blocks into all the combat. Yeah, they need to sense. show that like, you it, can't just yank people across yeah, the battlefield or shove them down. Right, like, and then the games knew this Well, the, the dude he pulled into the lightsaber wasn't even exhausted or surprised. He was facing him, he wasn't involved in the fight, and he just got yanked in and killed. It's like, you can't just do that. It breaks my immersion to see that happen, because it just means like there was, he's an idiot. There was this unwritten rule regarding force on other force users for a while, where, like, they just didn't really do it much, because I think the films didn't want to handle the potential implications of what it would mean if people can so, start yeah. throwing each other around with the force. But that establishes a precedent, right? And now we're violating that precedent, which introduces the question. Even though they're still not dealing with it, I'm having to ask the question anyway, so it's even worse. What's funny is I feel like the games almost introduce a better... And when I say the games, I mean there's all different ones with all different kinds of rules, but you know the notion of you could pick someone up and push them, or you can push amount of force, wind, whatever you want to call it, into them and they have to deal with that as pressure. Those are like two very different moves and it feels like grabbing someone and picking them up is just something we've all agreed isn't really fully possible when it's also a force user. But we can make allowances for when you're like Palpatine versus a Padawan. You're like, I think I, we can, yeah, that feels fair. And, um, you I know, having Soul grab take. May and subdue her it just makes everyone wonder, like, why aren't you doing that all the time, man? Can't do it to Smiler Ren? Sure, but can a group of, like, nine Jedi do it to Smiler Ren? I also, like, I'm very confused by, you want me to take my helmet off so you can read my mind? I don't know if they're implying that Cortosis all of a sudden magically has this new power but, of like whatever, right. or if they mean you have to look into someone's eyes to read their mind. But he loses the Literally. helmet later. Isn't it just so much more infinitely interesting as Saul is like, nah, you killed my Padawan and he just kills him. They don't know how to make any drama. They'd they gotta like, keep well, Smiler Ren alive for longer. Or it would be over after that if we got rid of Smiler Ren here and then you'd say, yep. no, actually. It you sure could, would be over. There's more story that you could tell but unfortunately not i will say i'm surprised that uh jackie and, and your died i wasn't expecting I was that i think one they, I'm they gave her died. the most I she had with one or the other she was the best of them all she, she whatever more training than soul she did. got give like, that to everyone it was kind of insane the how long she lasted and it's really annoying because there's literally no fucking reason why she should last no longer than all of them all yeah all those no other idea who she is as she, well, she was like, still doing yeah. the fucking basic stick training it's so annoying why do you write it this that's way? how good the stick training is mauler the others they they stopped stick training pretty Oh, if it's so they good, Rags, how come those other kids couldn't defend themselves from Anakin? <laughs> what I wish we would have gotten instead of this series is a series that's actually from the Sith perspective. So say you've got these two Sith, they're of this lineage with the rule of two and everything, they've stayed hidden for hundreds of years. Somehow they fuck up, they make a mistake, and the Jedi do get wind of something. The Jedi start investigating these two points of view, the Sith and the Jedi. Actual Sith point of view. And of them trying to do everything they can to cover it up to stay hidden while the Jedi are kind of closing in. I feel like that could be an actual cool premise for a show if you wanted to include dark side force users and shit like that. But this one, I gotta be honest, I'm not even convinced that Smiler Ren, that Kaimir, I'm not convinced he's a Sith. I don't think it matters anymore though on the it front matter. of how much it, it affects Phantom anymore. Menace. If he does report back there, hey, there's a dark side force user, red lightsaber, he said he might be a Sith, he's super fucking powerful. If Soul gets that away, that message away before May does whatever she's gonna try to do, that is a massive fucking problem. Knowing how retarded this show is, he's probably not even gonna call it in. They're probably gonna fly back to yeah. Coruscant, and then May's gonna take off her shirt, and he's gonna be like, where did your tattoo go? And they're gonna have a fucking fight or something. I wouldn't be surprised, Ryan, if, if they ask him for a report, and he says it's unclear what he is, and that's all he says. What if after all this shit happens, and all these Jedi die, the actual Sith at the very end of the show show up and just kill Kymir, because he mm -hmm. was, like, causing too much of a problem, and they might be discovered. I wouldn't be surprised if this dude is, like, a precursor to the Knights of Ren people, more so than an actual Sith. There's nothing to work with. It's like saying he could be Jar Jar Binks. There's no reason to think otherwise. It could be a shape-shifted Jar Jar Binks if he had access to materials that allowed him to time travel and blah blah. You're just like, why would you even... What? That doesn't mean anything to me. Like, it doesn't... The interactions are nothing. Like, oh god, what if he's a proto-knight of Ren?
Okay. The answer's going to be stupid. It always is. What's the point? This of was the same problem with r r his identity. If it had been anything else, it would have just been confusing. The fact that it's him is just like fine. Well, actually, still the worst choice because this means that they could have prevented all of this had they just behaved like Jedi in Episode Two. There's a logical choice presented that is so obvious that the fact that they didn't do it every time you go. Ah, well, so do you remember, um, they need this to happen to enable the plot to continue. We speculated the reason they let him go was to allow her to have access to Kelnaka, right? But it turns out, no, they let yeah. him go because he's the fucking main villain. Oh, yeah, like, oh. I guess they subverted you there. Yeah, you they know? got me. They <laughs> got sure you. I underestimated the, their incompetence for sure. In any other show, we would be assuming that Chimere was the red herring because it was so fucking obvious. From what we saw in episode two, the fact that he was able to subdue May the way he was, all the things they did in episode four, clearly he knows more than he's letting on. He's on the planet it when the guy shows up and any other show we'd imagine it was going to be like a swip swap like a swap for somebody else but no it's, it's just this guy this is their t form of subtlety this is their mystery <laughs> that it was kind here but we still got some left you know that that flashback episode we're just waiting for it which will be next right who knows so why may didn't just tell osha during their conversation what actually happened because you have to speak in cryptic vagaries yeah, every time. Oh, I mean, I, I, surely this is something that she's gonna osha should be holding this against may forever on top of essentially everything that happened on this planet being her fault she abandoned her on this planet with no means of escape. And then, of course, with the real possibility that she was going to get captured by Smilo Ren. These choices that these characters have made and their consequences should matter to everybody, but they won't. No, thanks to Ryan, we are understanding uh, cortosis. Mm. Wouldn't it be funny if I told you there was some kind of m metallic compound and it resists lightsabers and it, it was just called Frick? Like, if I just introduced that in the next episode, wouldn't that be funny? I mean, why not? The reason I say it, of course, is because that's how I feel about Cortosis, but ultimately it has precedent. But turns out, um, Frick does too. You're joking. <laughs> the reason I'm aware of this is because I've just been doing some browsing, and I'm seeing uh, Lil Platoon was complaining about the exact same thing that we would have been, because he's not as aware of all the canon. And someone said to him, and I thought it was a joke, but he's highlighted it's not a joke. Someone said, clearly you don't know anything about Frick. And it's oh, like, I hate Star Wars. Dude. It's like, I that's funny. You don't know anything about Frick. Because that sounds one, made up. One major source of Frick was the Frickite <laughs> Minds of Groma 16. Like, that's... <laughs> Which would be combined with Tidarium. Shut up. So they had entire minds of it. That obviously major the Jedi source would... of Frick. So the Jedi would be running around and they'd have Frick armor. Oh, man. And it was also very expensive. And as a result, it saw limited use in warfare. Ha, rags. Get wrecked, yeah, they... right? Oh, well, I guess you. they said it was very expensive. And yet somehow every Jedi's running around with a lightsaber. It's got to be profitable to, like, mine Frickite, which means someone's buying it. Is it actually called Frickite? Yeah, Frickite. It's, in the, it's on the thing you sent us. You think Frickite I read past the this fucking sentence i could i just yes. i'm already out it's such a like you gotta fucking be kidding me hold on on a more extreme scale at one point in the galactic civil war a container of frick was able to stay intact <laughs> when it was on the surface of alderaan during its destruction yeah that's how good it is <laughs> sorry yeah it's that good you blow up you alderaan there's just don't... this little case of frick floating <laughs> through space well, that's why, that's how you mine it. What you do to mine it is you have a planet that has Frick, and then you destroy the planet, which leaves only the Frick remaining, just floating in space. So you just grab that out of thin air, and you take it home. I can't fucking stand this shit, man. Anytime you go after Star Wars for anything, someone will throw something like Frick at you. I'm gonna be honest with you, Cortosis and Baskar are cooler names, right, than Frick. Yeah, maybe we don't go with Frick. <laughs> maybe Grandma 16 doesn't need to exist. George finally had a moment that I liked from him. Pity it was followed by I a did... moment of soul being retarded. He was on pause. He I, was I on don't pause. understand how it happens in a production like this that the camera does not have object permanence. Mm. With so many heads in the game with so much attention some... on this, someone what? has to have said something. Well, it's One of the Jedi because... rules is turn-based combat, I believe. They <laughs> clearly show, right, the helmet goes up, Sol notices that, so does Milo Ren, and then in comes Yord, May crawls away, because she's not going to be involved in the fight, and they lock up. This is the moment of Sol. Do something. It's all you, buddy. They're locked up. What's, what's gonna happen? And then the show is like, no, he's not gonna do anything. They're instead gonna have a chat with each other. They use surprise thing and then move, 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 break neck. And the craziest thing is, they cut back to Seoul for a surprise shot. 
He's like, wait, what? What do you mean, wait, what? You're it's like, what were you doing? You have telekinesis. Yep, and yours not useless power-wise. Like, if you had gotten involved with him, there's a good chance you could have taken Where's Smilo down. Knight? Master Soul what defeats they, I, Smilo I, Ren, I'm, so. I'm, like, struck by them, you know, those characters getting killed off and them going, ah, oh, see, look, that's, like, pretty dramatic. And then you think, man, those two characters, like, were barely characters. They didn't yeah, get much. It's, it's probably worth Attention. highlighting. They obviously failed. Not that this is a surprise. They obviously failed to make us care about these people before they killed them. It's more interesting to me in the sense that I'm surprised that they did it rather than, well, hey, that was, like, really dramatic. On Jackie's death, which, again, I just find it funny, he stabbed her three times, I think. Even the show was aware. It's like, we better make it more than once. <laughs> just in case people compare to the other shows. I suppose I am fascinated by the glimpses of, I guess, normalcy in terms of the way that you write stuff. Both Jackie and Yorn essentially did something that was significant before they died. Jackie destroyed the mask, and then she died, and then Yord came along and saved them just in time before he died. Okay, that's, like, normal... Uh, something right? like a character's yeah. death is tied to them doing something. Oh yeah, and and, and then you remember. But of course, it's undermined by the fact that the fight ultimately concludes with him getting away. Well, and and in a sense, opportunity cost of storytelling, the amount of things they could have done that would have been so much more powerful. This exactly. is what we ended up getting. We didn't get the reveal till Jackie died that Smiler runs lightsaber. Actually, he's got two lightsabers. He's got a little Shoto lightsaber as well, right. which is what he killed her with. That begs the question: When Yord comes in and shorts out his main lightsaber, why didn't he just pull a second? went out to take his head off instead of the neck snap shit. What I was going to bring up as well was that when Jackie dies, it cuts to Osha having a sort of feeling through the force that she's died, which I actually think is almost pathetic that they think showing them have a conversation in the previous episode and telling us that between scenes they've developed something is why it's meaningful that she dies here to her. You get, you get a shot of Smiler and Fist though with him going like, yeah, I did it. And then she's like, oh my goodness. He's so cringe. He's such a cringe he's character. He's really, with, really with cringe. And without it, he's cringe. This is kind of adding on to what Rag said earlier about uh, it being more of an interesting thing to see Soul just give in and chop off Smiler Ren's head. Soul's been characterized as someone who's got a little bit more emotion than the average Jedi, and now he's been established as having a bit more darkness than the average Jedi too. Imagine having your Padawan killed in front of you like that, have the guy call her it and not give a shit after he's killed several other Jedi, and you're stopped by who? Someone who, fair enough, was his Padawan, I think, six years ago, who's recently come back up and doesn't really understand anything about what's happening. I don't believe for a second her saying anything would have stopped him. This ain't Count Dooku. It's not like he's got no hands. You have yeah, to this, kill him. So the idea you, you that you wouldn't be able to justify this choice that. in the Jedi Code, like, it's just, it's boring and it's dishonest, I think. Are you seriously saying that the Jedi rules would forbade you from killing a Sith that has just killed several Jedi and clearly is willing to kill and has a greater capacity to do it than the vast majority of people who exist in this universe. The way he awkwardly moves his lightsaber past Smilo Ren while lifting it up so he doesn't he hit him. He brings it up yeah. past his head so the camera view can get a good idea yeah. of like it coming down. Say you did see Saul just not give a fuck and do it and then you see like Osha being shocked because maybe all the whispers that they've said are true, right? That the Jedi were never what she thought they was. Like, maybe the Jedi are completely justified this whole yeah. time. Okay, well. The way I would write that in Force a Jedi, in theory, would he would kill the shit out of this guy, and the window's like, well, that's not the Jedi Code. It's like, yes, it fucking is. Ask me a single question, and I'll answer you. Like, how this is a part of the Jedi Code, for sure. Motherfucker was killing everybody. You can't disarm the opponent, ever. What exactly. if you cut the lightsaber in half? What if you use the Force to yank it out of their hands? It's like, well... Well, now you're screwed. If anything, you've you've eliminated your ability to stop them. She, I think, has saved his life by putting the light on his back and attracting the moths to him. It prevents him from having another duel with Master Soul that he may have lost and actually gotten killed exactly. in because you're allowed to slice someone's head off in the middle of a fight, but not the end of a fight. The reality is that, like, all of them have been dealt some serious... All of the surviving characters, that is, have been dealt some serious damage as a Oh, yeah, loads of, of character decisions during action that are just terrible. What do you guys think is going to happen in episode? Six. I got nothing at this point, other than revealing the truth. May and yep. thinking he will be mad. Smiler Ren maybe does an assault on the, the Jedi Temple because he's mad. I think well, we're going to get Smiler Ren <laughs> trying to pill Osha. What, they, yeah, ooh, you know, what, what if they, they switch it's sides it's at the cool. end? Yeah, oh. that's, that's what I think. Dude, that would be so embarrassing, but I think that's possible. Why would that was one of the Osha things I guessed. <laughs> Shut up, Rex. That was one, <laughs> of the, one of the things I guessed would happen in this episode, and it didn't happen the way I thought, but I thought that Osha would end up being captured by Smilo Ren, and that May would end up being captured by the Jedi, and they'd be in different camps, right? That would be, like, the next thing they did. Obviously, Mei wasn't captured. She's pretending to be Osha, but I guess I would be shocked if we got the flashback episode right after this, but I wouldn't put it past them to do it. Another... I, I think I we have a little more... The first flashback when we did, so... I feel like there's a little too much 
hanging right now for them to do that reveal the flashback episode now we still know from the trailers that vernestra is going to be on some like forest or, or planet or something with her lightsaber whip she's going to get involved in some way i don't know if she's going to go because they didn't call in i don't know what the fuck's going to happen but we know we're going to get that sequence at some point good bet that nothing happens next episode at least right probably nothing they were like well no guys calm down so much amazing stuff happened in this episode we gotta we gotta slow it down and build back up to a crazy finale such a wonky ass season but there we are that is episode five so Wonderful. So epic. Thank you all so much for watching. Goodbye. Yeah, we'll see you guys next Goodbye week. Goodbye. Next now. Incredible yeah, episode. Later. Goodbye. Bye. Basil makes that fucking annoying, terrible, awful screech noise. <laughs> and then the knot says just just kills him right there. And he falls down in half. He's like Buzz Lightyear at the beginning of Toy Story 2. <laughs> And then it cuts to rest. No, 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 Oh, you almost no. had it. This game was terrible anyway. I'm glad it happened. I'm oh. going to go play Elden Ring DLC. I might be able to make my way down here. You know what? Never mind. Huh? What'd you bring me?